What's good YouTube? Back at it with another video. I'm about to go ahead and I'm about to give you all a full day of eating because I swear every DM I get, every like message request on TikTok I get is always what do you eat in a day? Uh, what do you eat when you're cutting? What do you eat when you're bulking? And truth be told, it's the same thing if I'm cutting and if I'm bulking. It really does not change. Now obviously the amount of food I'm intaking is going to change but it's always the same exact foods. And I'm not one of those like influencers or YouTubers that like be eating these crazy kinds of foods and like you know, these Greek yogurts. And I used to do that shit, I really did. But now, you know, I really just eat whole foods now that I'm doing bodybuilding. My meal, it's gonna be a cool little video. I'm gonna show you on meal one, all the way up to post-workout meal. And yeah, we're gonna go train at uh, the Gold Gym in Flyman, which I have yet to go train at, which is kind of weird because it's only like 30 minutes away from my crib. And I'm not gonna lie, like I fuck with Absolute Recom heavy, like the machines are great, but I've just gotten like a little bit tired from going there and seeing the same faces every single day. So I gotta switch it up to you. Also the other day, I put up a story on my Instagram y'all to ask me some questions and shit. So while I'm eating these meals, just so it's not a boring ass video, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna answer some of y'all's questions. All right, so we got the first meal right here. That is about 75 grams of oats with 80 grams of blueberries and 20 grams of protein powder. And then we just got some simple shit. And look, I'm not a chef, y'all. That's two whole legs and 110 grams of egg whites. And while I eat this, I have a whole bunch of questions that y'all asked me. So I'm just gonna go through some of them and then just kind of respond to them. Somebody asked, how long have I been into fitness? So originally I've been working out since I was maybe like 14, 15 years old, like when I first started playing football seriously, uh, like in middle school. And I, like obviously, like if you played football, it's not really like bodybuilding workouts, it's more like bench, squat, um, maybe deadlift, shit like that. How long I've actually seriously been like lifting, like taking it serious? Uh, probably only like two years, like the start of 2020 really, um, is really like when it kicked it off. Uh, I remember like watching Jack West's like um, winter bulk series and all that stuff. And so shout out to them dudes because they really started it off for me. But yeah, I remember like watching them and really trying to take this shit seriously. Um, I would really say I really took my training seriously like last year like when I started like right before prep uh, That's like really when I started taking it like actually seriously um, And then now it's like I'm really really taking it seriously All right, where do I see myself in the next three five and ten years? Shit. Um, three years uh, Hopefully doing this shit full-time like either bodybuilding or um, social media full-time Obviously, I think I'm still gonna be working out and shit in about five years from now, I see myself like married with kids, um, making some good money, hopefully in a house, driving nice cars and shit. In 10 years, whew, I want to be traveling. Like in 10 years, I really don't want to be working at all. I want to be like traveling and shit, uh, be going out to places, me and my girl. Hopefully if I have a kid by then with a kid and shit. Um, and really just being able to like give back to my family and shit, like help my family out, my mom, my dad, my sisters and shit. Um, and my friends, of course, obviously, like my best friend, uh, the people I know from the gym and shit. Like, I, I want to be able to just like continue to grow all my assets that I have, and to continue to grow like myself, my name as like a brand and shit. Um, and yeah, like I have really high standards for myself, so I really do see myself, you know, going to the top. Like I work full time right now. Um, I really don't get paid too much off this social media shit, so I have to work full time. But like, I don't mind it because I know like. It just makes me even more hungry to like three, five, ten years down the road. Like I want to be a fucking successful ass person. Like I've already made it like pretty far. Like even my sister told me like I've already beat like the standard like as being like a first generation Hispanic man in America. Like I don't, I'm a GM at my work and shit. Like I'm making good money. I live on my own. I don't have any kids. Like I pay for my own shit. Like I got my own car and shit that I bought. Like so like I made it pretty far, but I always just beat myself up a little bit just because um, you know, I am 21 and I do want to, you know, I really do want to get to the bag for real. Alright, next question. Somebody said, if she's looking at me through the mirror at the gym hella hard, do we approach? I mean, 100%, like, what do you have to lose, bro? Like, that's like, like, that's a big thing for me is like, what do you have to lose? I mean, so, I remember a year ago, my best friend, I was in Arizona, and this is before I had a girlfriend and shit. He was like, literally like, don't be afraid to shoot like at any girl because the fact that like just because if she turns you down that does not mean you're an ugly ass dude it literally just means that you're not her type and like that shit really opened up my mind i was like damn like that's true like because i got i know i'm not ugly and a lot of y'all are ugly i mean there is some people that are like eh, but like <laughs> 
literally like just shoot your shot like obviously you don't fucking bother her mid set or like while she's working out like wait until she's done working out or catch her right before she leaves or when she comes in or whatever and you don't even got to do all that like let me put you on game like literally just like ask her like like this is what i would do i would be like hey like you have like really nice shoulders like um what's like your shoulder routine uh, and then you can ask her like if she competes and shit and then all you do just get her name right get her name like at the end of it oh what's your name Shake hands, whatever. Oh, nice to meet you. That's it. Like, cut it off right there. Don't do all the extra bullshit. Um, and now the next time you see her, like, now you know her name. Now you can approach her like, oh, hey, what's up, so-and-so. Like, that's, it's so easy. Like, I wish, like, most guys would just be a little bit more confident. But, yeah, like, if you see, if both y'all are staring at each other, it's obviously most likely either one, she she's fucking with you, or two, she's just one of those people that, like, she people watches, bro. Like, I'm the same way. Like, I just people watch. Like, I just be, like, looking around. I don't give a fuck. Um, but, yeah, bro, like, you have nothing to lose. So, yeah, go shoot your shot. All right, so it's about two and a half hours later. I'm about to eat um, 168 grams of ground turkey, um, 175 grams of jasmine rice, 80 grams of green beans, and 75 grams of avocado. Look, if y'all don't have this, bro, this makes, like, eating avocado 10 times easier, I swear. Next question is favorite food. Definitely my favorite food outside of like bodybuilding has to be pizza. Like I'm a pizza connoisseur, like pizza. And second would have to be like a burger. Like when I feel like when I have a normal cheat meal, it's usually a burger. Um, but if it's like, I don't really care too much about like, cause anytime I eat a pizza, I do not feel healthy at all. Like I feel like shit afterwards. So healthy cheat meal, usually I go like a burger. Um, not so healthy, feeling like a, like a little lazy fuck, I'll go ahead and I'll eat a pizza. Uh, but if we're talking about favorite bodybuilding food, um, I'm real simple. Like, I fuck with, like, steak and, um, steak and rice is pretty good. Or I do, like, um, I like chicken and potatoes as well, so. Somebody asked, from your weight loss journey, what was your worst and favorite part of it? Uh, worst part was definitely, like, having, like, all that negativity. Like, you would think, like, if you're trying to better your life, people would support you a little bit more. But I just remember, like, strictly, like, a whole bunch of, like, friends or acquaintances, like, kind of, like, trying to bash me on it, like, oh, you're going to the gym now, you're losing weight, like, you're not going to make it, like, all this other shit, like, it's definitely one thing I did not fuck with, and, like, the body dysmorphia that comes with it. Um, a favorite thing uh, from losing weight was definitely, like, the confidence level that I built up, like, it's so much easier to just talk to people, like, and then also, like, I can actually, like, I feel good wearing clothes, like, I can actually wear, like, really whatever the fuck I want, and I feel good. What's your goals in bodybuilding? My goals in bodybuilding, I definitely, obviously, like, I want to go for my pro card. Like, I think that's, like, every bodybuilder's goal. But, I mean, just to bring, like, the best physique every single time I step on stage. Like, I obviously want to, as I grow and get older, like, I want to continue to look better. Um, but, like, the overall goal in bodybuilding would definitely be to, like, get my pro card. And that might not ever happen, but we shoot for the stars over here. Like, I would never say... Never not try something, you know? Like, at least at least attempt to, you know, get to your goals. And you know what? If you don't make it and God doesn't want you to achieve that, so be it. Like, try something new. Like, it's not it's not going to kill you at the end of the day. So that was my pre-workout meal. I did not record much, like, while I was eating just because I was trying to get in the right mindset, you know? But it is 75 grams of cream of rice, 60 grams of protein powder. It's supposed to be 100 grams of strawberries, um, but I ran out, so I did 75 grams of blueberries instead, which is almost around the same macros. And then 24 grams of almond butter. Almond butter to, uh, you know, give me some healthy fats so I can, you know, hold down the starvation a little bit while I'm working out and shit. Yeah, we just got to Gold's Gym. It was about a 30-minute drive, which is perfect because the cream of rice digests, like, right around that time anyways. So we're not going to feel really bloated and shit while we're in there. But yeah, I mean, it's a lot smaller than I thought. But we're about to go in right now. We're going to meet up with Matt and hit a crazy push workout. So let's go.
what's up, y'all? Hope y'all like that little gym edit, whatever the fuck you want to call it, from our push day. Uh, the Flood Mound, um, Gold's Gym is dope. Like, I fuck with it. I actually would probably get a membership there. Um, <coughs> fuck. My bad, y'all. I came home meaning to eat my post-workout meal and ended up falling asleep, which is fucking horrible. But uh, I'm actually making it right now. It sounds like like World War II in my microwave. Uh, basically, I'm going to eat 168 grams of chicken, 80 grams of vegetables, which will be the green beans, and um, 330 grams of potatoes. So usually on rest days, I'll only eat 265, I believe. Uh, but on days I work out, I'm eating a little bit more carbs. But kind of going back to some of the questions, somebody asked, what would you say is the most difficult part about training? I would definitely say being consistent with intensity um, every single day in the gym, especially like if you're somebody that goes to school or work full time, um, you're not always going to have like the best energy to go in there and just bust your ass and kill yourself in the gym every single day. It's very hard. You have to be a certain kind of person to do that shit. So I would say definitely like just being consistent with the same amount of intensity and like training style every single time you go into the gym. I mean, there's days for the most part, I feel like my training's pretty on point, but there is days where like my energy is just not there. I don't take pre-workout. I don't take any caffeine or anything. And my workouts are just shitty. I'm not going to lie. <sighs> Somebody asked, when will we get an OnlyFans? So I do not like really, I don't have anything against girls or guys that have an OnlyFans. Me personally, I would never do it just because the fact that like, I don't think anybody's body has a price on it. It's like, why are you going to sell your body? And obviously it sounds crazy because I like put my body out on social media and stuff and then I compete in bodybuilding. But it's like, why are you going to sell your like your body for other people to purchase? Like I think as a person, like really the only person that should be seeing like your full body is like your significant other. And obviously that person only gets to see your body because they earn your trust and your respect. You know what I'm saying? So like, why would I just go sell it for, let's say 10 bucks a month for other people to see? Uh, I feel like it would be kind of disrespectful towards my girl. Um, like, I wouldn't want my girl to have an OnlyFans. It's like, she's with me, you know? Like, we'll find a different source of income. Like, I'm not with that shit. So, no, like, I'm not doing an OnlyFans. Um, maybe I might sell, like, feet pics. Nah, 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 that's horrible. But the answer is no, I'm not doing an OnlyFans. That's, it's not part of, like, my morals and shit. Like, I don't know. So, I'm going to answer one more, and then I'm going to eat some food. And I'll show y'all and shit like how I, I guess I eat my chicken and potatoes. It's nothing special. It's just the plainest. That's why I didn't want to make one of these videos because like all my like, all the foods I eat is like plain as fuck. Uh, somebody asked, how long have you and your girlfriend been dating and how did y'all meet? That's a good question. Like, so me and my girl will be dating for six months uh, on this upcoming month. And how did me and my girlfriend meet though? Um, we basically found each other through social media. Uh, she followed me obviously because you know I'm a smooth ass dude. And I followed her back and then I looked through her profile, liked some of her pictures, she liked some of mine. Uh, I actually posted something on my story to see if she would like it. Because if she would like it, I was like, okay, fuck it, I'm going in, like I'm shooting my shot. Uh, and she didn't. But she was too pretty for me not to like, you know, pass up an opportunity. So I went, um, after I liked a couple of her pictures, she liked a couple of mine. I DM'd her, messaged her, and I was just like, you know, just starting general conversation. You know, I think I was talking about like her tattoos because obviously, like, I have a whole bunch of tattoos, so it's a good conversation to talk about. I think we went into like piercings and stuff, and I was she she has a crazy amount of like like fucking ear piercings and shit like that. And I was like, I don't believe you. You don't have to show me. And she, I was like, here's my snap. And then after that, she had my snap, and then I just rizzed her up in the snap, and then like. Yeah, we just, uh, we went on a couple dates. I just earned her trust and shit. And I'm a pretty easygoing person. Like, I genuinely know how to talk to people. So, it was kind of easy, you know, for her to make, like, you know, the decision of, you know, going with me. But, yeah, no crazy love story. Literally just, like, found each other through Instagram. But, my food's ready. So, I'm going to show y'all meal number four. Post-workout meal, chicken and potatoes. Alright, Joe. <clears throat> it's like almost 9 o'clock now. I fell asleep again watching YouTube and shit, but I'm about to show y'all my last meal right now. Last meal is three slices of Ezekiel bread and 168 grams of ground beef, 93.7 lean. Nothing crazy today. This is what I'm eating now, currently going into a bulk and a growing phase. Uh, so I can come on stage next year like two times as big, you know what I'm saying? 
But yeah, guys, I know this is a very short, simple, and quick video. If you like the video, make sure you leave a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also hit the post notification so you'll know when I upload any kind of shorts or any YouTube videos or any updates on my channel. Also, y'all, I wanted to say thank you guys for 6,000 subscribers. That is a fucking game changer for me because I heard TikTok's dying and Instagram's ass. So, like I said in the last video, I'm trying to get popping on the YouTube shit. But enough said, y'all. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate all the love on all my platforms. I love y'all. And I'll see y'all at the next video.